How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in this guitar lesson you're gonna learn how to play Badge as recorded by Cream. This has definitely been a heavily requested song so thank you so much for writing your requests in the comments below. I'm so excited to take you through this guitar lesson. I've loved this song for years and I'm gonna show you a little bit of a blend of what Clapton plays live. You can see them and I think that works great for just a one guitar version and then I'm also going to mix in a lot of the elements that are on that classic recording like the note for note arpeggio picking at the end and the different sort of jazzier chord shapes that come in throughout the song. Before we dive into it though, I want to hook you up with a gift at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack that you can download that goes along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. And this is going to give you some handouts, some PDF downloads, that are going to make learning from my YouTube videos so much more effective and just easier because you'll be able to follow along with a good tab. So check that out as my gift to you and with that said, let's break this song down. Let's learn how to play Badge as recorded by Cream on guitar. We're going to start off with the intro and this is very similar here to how Eric Clapton starts this song off live where he's combining the bass line with the guitar part. Here's what it sounds like. One. Two, three, four. So we're starting out on an A minor chord, and then we're going to walk the bass line on upbeats. One, and two, and three, and four, and. So that's A minor, and then the third fret on the fifth string then the second fret on the fourth string, then open D. So one, two, and three, and four, and... And then I go to a D5 chord. And this is basically the, the chords for the intro. It's like A minor to D. And this is going to continue in the verse. So we're playing the A minor here, and then a D5. We're going to go one, and two, and three, and four, and... So the first two bars go one, two, and three and four and one and two and three and four and now you'll notice when I'm playing the bass line I'm resting in between with my strum hand so one and two and three and four and one and two and three then repeat one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then the second time we're moving up with this bass line we play the third fret of the low E then the fourth fret then we go to the verse, and this is where Eric Clapton comes in singing. Here we're going to play. So essentially I'm playing a bar of A minor to a bar of D and then two bars of an E minor, but we're gonna have a little moving melody in there. So A minor playing here, you can do this just a standard bar chord, five, seven, seven, five, five, five. Or if you are into using your thumb, you'll notice that I put my thumb on that bass note. One, two, and three, and four, and. So I'm playing the bass note and then a little backbeat strum there. One and two and three and four and and then back to the bass note. So I'm alternating really going between hitting bass notes and then strumming the chord, breaking up the chord. One, two and three and four and then one, two and three and four and that's the same thing but on a D chord. Five, seven, seven, seven. Muting the low E and the high E. Then, this is an E sus2. It's like an E minor bar chord, but I'm lifting up that middle finger and then adding it down. And really, you can try and make that second string as the, hi as the highest note. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four and a ba 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 down up down 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 up down up down 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 up so it's a two beat pattern down up down 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 up ba 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 or if i count up the rhythms one e and a two e and a 
and then you change chords and do the same thing. And then again. Then we're back to our verse. A minor, repeat back to D, and again. All right, then we go to a C chord, and here we're gonna play. Okay, so this is a C bar chord at the eighth fret to A minor, then B minor. Those are all one bar each. One, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, B minor, two, three, and four, and. Then you go to A minor nine here, and this is a great chord starting on the fifth string. Open, five, 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 seven. Now that chord comes on the and of four, so we'll count one and two and three and four and. and we just hold that, it just floats there. So we go C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, B minor, then to A minor. And then we got a little one, two, three. And then we're back to the verse. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. All right, now we get to my favorite part of the tune, and I'm sure it's a lot of people's favorite part of the song. What I'm going to do is turn on my Leslie effect pedal, and uh, I'll, I'll play this arpeggio picking part that comes in next. It sounds like this. One, two. <laughs> So we're starting on beat three, and I'll just turn this off as I teach it to you so you're, you're not confused, but that's a great sound. It's like a Leslie organ speaker. So here we're playing open, four, two, and that's on the fourth string, open, four, then two on the third string. Then we go to a G over C, and all it is is one finger here. It sounds complicated, but it's just one finger on the third fret of the fifth string. And we're gonna pick. Five, four, three, two. Then we move to a G over B. Just shifted that third fret down to the second fret. We're gonna pick five, four, three. Then I'll play the G bass note and play six, two. So the chords are actually changing on the ands here. Three and four and one and two and three and and then four and. Again, if you're having trouble, just click the link below where you can get the tab. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. Then we go to a D5 and we just go. That's four, three, two, three for our arpeggio picking. Congrats on making it through this lesson. Remember to go back and rewind and rewatch any parts that you feel uncomfortable with or you just need to watch again. And then as you build it up and work on the speed of putting it together, try and play it along with the song. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. This is gonna make learning from my YouTube videos so much easier and effective. So check that out as my gift to you. As always, leave any song requests in the comments below. Thanks for your support here on the channel. And if you're interested in diving deeper, you can check out my website. I've got a lot of great resources on there as well, johnmclennan.com. Have fun, and we'll see you in another video real soon.